Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. A uh, Monte Tar reading for July 2009, August 2019, I'm sorry guys. And uh, <clears throat> bear with me just a second here to shuffle the tar cards. And we are jumping straight into the spread. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of Virgo month, this is going to be the Page of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which stands for the peripheral activities that you can go for, guys. Here, this is going to be the uh, Magician card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the month here. We do have the Nine of Wands. And finally, uh, it is going to be the um, Guidance card here. This is to be the uh, Sun card. All right, so... Um, hmm. Well, uh, definitely we do have a triangle here, but uh, it, it, it may be in regards to your career as well. It's kind of like to colleagues that one is trying to it's not exactly help you but let's say one is trying to side with you and the other is trying to ruin this cooperation it could be as well a love triangle also uh but uh, the the thing with these cards is that uh, you need to decide which one you want to go with and uh, pretty much you are to enter the mont biased with one of these people all right but in the same time um it seems that the other one is going to have their their points as well and you need to find according to these cards at least you know you need to find the arguments and the strength to uh, fight back that point so uh, the first card which stands uh, let's run the cards one more time before we go to scrutinizing the reading so page of pentacles it is the topic of the month followed by the magician card which stands for the peripheral activities Afterwards, we do have the King, the Knight of Swords, which stands for the challenge here. Then it is the uh, Nine of Wands, which regards to the positive aspect. And the final one is going to be the Sun card, which represents the guidance. All right, so Page of Pentacles, we do have a person as a topic for throughout this month. So Page of Pentacles, it's a very youthful person, definitely emotionally attached to you. Why? Because he the page thinks that you worth the trouble all right no what no matter what you're going through no much no matter what stands in between you two or no matter what is ahead of you all right ahead of you too it's basically worth it i mean it they decided <clears throat> that you are to be the one, regardless for what that is going to be. You know, it could be uh, about the business endeavor, all right? So you are the one that they want to make business with, all right? Or you are the one that they want to try and date with, all right? Or you are the one that they choose to be to, uh, for their company to go on a holiday and etc., etc. Now, the thing with the page is that 
sometimes it could represent a friend of yours who do have more than just a, a friendship intentions, all right? But they are hiding it because they're waiting for the right moment. The thing with the page, perfectionist, okay? They, and with that statement, usually the right moment never comes. So if that's the case, be more vigilant for someone who, let's say, always offering help, all right? Even if you don't seek one. The accompanied card of the page is going to be the Two of Wands formation. It is a uh, passive um, neutrals here and definitely the page cannot find their way through. I mean, especially if we're talking about more than just a friendship thing. They just don't know how to express. They just don't know, is this going to bear any fruits, right? And they are afraid to expand on it. And uh, because knowing that once they try to expand on it, they lose their previous position forever. And things aren't going to be like they are right now, never again. So with these couple of cards here, uh, it seems that the page is very reluctant to make a step forward. Regarding, regardless what what we're talking about here, either a business endeavor, cooperation, or or a romantic intentions, and etc. etc. It's just. Um, the page hopes that you are to guess what their intentions are and you are going to make the first move, okay? So that leads us to the next card, which is the peripheral activities that you can go for should you decide to. That is entirely up to you, you know. We have the Magician card. So this is going to be a very fruitful month where you establish something for yourself, you know, either a private business or, or a hobby of yours. Just, you know, give an expression to your... Um, Original ideas, should I say that way? Whatever, uh, whatever activity does boost or amplifies your independence and your sovereignty, well, that is a the peripheral activity that you can go for. As the magician is a very, very broad card. Okay, it could relate to virtually everything because the magician is good with every suite. I mean, it works with every suite, and for that reason, um, you know, anything that you touch is going to be fruitful, is going to be lucrative, is going to be successful. So with the Magician on the peripheral activities, you get to choose, my friends, which your peripheral activities are going to be. Only one advice here with the Magician card is that whatever you choose to do, you need to have the determination, the right convictions behind your actions, you know, to pull that thing through. Should you have it, then you are to succeed. Oh, and one more thing, the magician may also relate to a qualification, additional qualification. So you are in a summer break, you are in a summer holiday from your job. If you don't schedule your holiday to be on a coast side, you know, or uh, among the mountain, maybe you can use it to learn something new so you can improve your qualification at job. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Cups. Formation is a active neutrals. So uh, you need to to go a little bit ahead of your way, right, in order to take advantage of this uh, of these peripheral activities. I would classify it a bit as a laziness, and who blame who can blame you? You know, after a uh, one year of a hard work, one wants to have at least a couple of weeks or a month or a month to just do nothing. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> while you do have an extraordinary potential throughout the month to do something very fruitful for yourself that is going to make your life much easier moving on forward and it's going to give you the the field needed to ask for a promotion for example or to attract more people in your life you may decide to spend that time additional or free time just to do nothing, okay, or, or just to do these meaningless stuff that does not contribute in any way, nor ruin in any way, you know, your daily environment, which there is nothing wrong with, all right? So the next card is going to be regarding the challenges, and we do have another person here, Knight of Swords, very determined one, very intellectually agile person. So if you think that you're... Um, standpoint is rock solid well this one always have the argument to fight it back okay a uh, knight of swords it is a person who is very self-righteous in the sense of that 
they do believe that they have the right. It's simply as that, okay? That their standpoint it is always the right standpoint. And uh, they defile uh, everybody else's points of view. So in other words, how this is going to work out here in regards to the Page of Pentacles. So the page is a bit inactive. So this one sees the opportunity as the page is inactive and tries to knock the page off. So to take their place, okay? <clears throat> And this is very explosive combination. We do have the Knight, the King of Wands here to the Knight of Swords formation. It is a active friend and definitely the Knight knows how to press the buttons. Definitely the Knight has the idea how to make the situation for his own benefits. Definitely the Knight, uh, how do I describe it? Um, it's ready to do those powerful actions in order to knock the page off. So the way I see it here, guys, is that you do have someone that you can make a rather equal um, partnership or a relationship. Even it's not equal, it's a relationship and partnership where you are to dictate the rules. And if you don't do so, that person is going to be knocked off for in favor of someone who will want to dictate the rules for you. All right. So that is the thing that is happening here in the month of... Um, in the month of August. Like I said, it may not be related to any romance. It could be a, a fight in between two co-workers, in between two friends, you know, or um, <clears throat> in between your siblings also, or parents as well, and etc. etc. The point is that we do have an aggressive person who sees an opportunity to exert influence upon you and to have them on their side, and their side is self-righteousness, all right? So you, you get my point. So they, they want to as a tool for their own personal means. And that is, especially with the, with the King of Wands here, the King of Wands is always someone who does not make their hands dirty. It is simply they, they point with the finger, okay? And they expect that their word is a, an, a will. Their, their word is going to be executed with no questions asked. <clears throat> so the next one uh, is going to be uh, regarding your positive aspect or what helps you throughout the month of August. We do have the nine of wands. So the first thing I want to say about this card is the great sense of emergency that you are going to have or the great sense of danger and threat that could bestow upon you. All right. So you immediately are going to realize what the consequences are going to be, regardless which one you are to choose here. But one thing is certain with this card is that you will very well understand as well how you need to play your cards and what kind of necessary changes you need to make in, in the situation itself. So you do not make any enemies whatsoever from either of these. So as soon as you, for example, take on the page, which these cards are advising you to do so, you are going to make it in such a way that the knight is going to simply withdraw. Or a vice versa, should you make the other choice, the knight, which is not advisable by these cards. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Swords, Formation, Active Friends. Uh, well, the Ace only uh, strengthens my statement for the uh, Nine of Wands because the Ace is about spiritual strength needed to resist the Knight of Swords, mental strength as well, again, needed to resist the Knight of Swords, awareness of the reality of the right diagnosis of the situation, which presents you with a, um, what did I, how did I say, how did I say it, the sense of emergency you need to have in regards to the Knight of Swords, all right? And uh, finally, the strength and the, uh, the courage to take a decision for yourself. Realizing that doing otherwise, you simply, uh, you are to be succumbed on a different goal, for a alien goal, for a alien agenda. And finally, what we do have here for you, uh, Virgo, is going to be the Sun card, which is the Guidance. Well, with the Sun card, maintain a positive attitude with everybody that you meet. You know, this card points here that a little kindness is likely to go a, a very, very long run and long way. Additionally to that, the Sun asks you here throughout this month to think about how you can expand on your 
current positions and on your endeavors because the sun represents a growing energy of expand everywhere it falls career-wise or a relationship-wise as well. And the sun here uh, urges you not to force anything, right? But rather allow the situation to unfold as naturally as possible. The accompanied card is going to be the temperance and the formation. It is a active supporters once again. So with the temperance card here, uh, you should not be stubborn when we come with the sun card. You need to accept that sometimes things are as they are and one can do just so much, right? Therefore, one needs to be open for a compromise. One needs to adopt a, a balanced standpoint, which tremendously is going to help you to maintain the good terms with the Knight of Swords, even if you even as you have have that person defeated in a mental battle, all right? Uh, because that way you are going to make them honor your standpoint, your opinion, you know, your, your ideas as well, your goals through showing solidarity and compassion to them. And uh, finally, uh, with these cards, the sun and the temperance, and uh, nothing goes without its chores, all right? So uh, uh, when you decide to do something or when you involve yourself into something, especially with the Page of uh, Pentacles, you need to know very well what you are involving yourself into and you need to have the determination <clears throat> to attend to the necessary chores that your decisions brings to you. So that being said, um, Virgo, this was your Monte Tarot reading for August uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye!